All right, now, in the previous exercise, you saw how easy it is to run through the new site definition process in Dreamweaver CS5. Now what I want to do is I want to turn our attention to the new CMS features inside Dreamweaver CS5. Specifically, we're going to start working with, as you already know, a WordPress blog, right? Now, this is a little complicated to explain, but let me try and I'll, I'll give it a stab here. So we already know that I pointed my my installation of Dreamweaver, my, my site definition, to my installation of WordPress sitting on the desktop, right? But if I flip over to my browser here, you can see that inside my browser, I'm also running a WordPress installation. This is actually a second local installation of WordPress, which is actually running through an application here on my Mac called MAMP. And what MAMP will do is it will run the appropriate servers to allow me to run a full functioning WordPress blog on my Mac. It's pretty cool. You can do the same thing on the PC side using an application called ZAMP. And if you saw the 10 ton WordPress DVD, then you'd know exactly how to set up MAMP on the Mac or ZAMP on the PC side to be able to actually run a full installation of WordPress on your computer, not needing a web browser or sorry, a web server. It's pretty awesome stuff. So there's my back end of my blog and there's the front end, right? Now, back in Dreamweaver, over in the Files panel, we've, of course, defined our site. We did that in the previous exercise. And, of course, the Files panel is displaying for us our local root version, if you will, of our WordPress installation. This is not the version of WordPress that we are previewing inside our browser. Don't forget, we're going to have two copies of our website one local and one remote. So what we're seeing inside the browser is the remote site. What we're seeing inside the files panel is the local site. Does that make sense? Okay, there's my index.php file on the top level or the root level of my directory. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this guy to open them up. Now, make sure you're in split view. So we're gonna have code on the left and design on the right. Now notice we don't get much code on the left and we don't get anything at all over on the right. Now index.php is a dynamic file. It requires other PHP files and other content in order to display properly. And all of that dynamic content must be hosted by an Apache and a MySQL server, which is exactly what MAMP is doing for me over in Firefox in that live version or remote version of my WordPress installation. And this is what ZAMP is gonna do for our PC users. And really, this is what this lesson is all about, getting this dynamic content to not only display inside Dreamweaver, but we also wanna be able to edit it, make changes to it, and this sort of thing. And all of this is gonna be done via setting up a testing server here in Dreamweaver CS5. Check this out. This is where things get extremely cool. First of all, what I'm going to do is up at the top of the interface, I'm going to click on Live View, and Dreamweaver says, whoa, hold on a second. To view pages containing server-side code, you need a staging server. Do you want to go specify one now? Now, this is, again, a bit of a, a change in CS5 now. If I've gone and set up a site definition and it's missing any information, Dreamweaver just prompts me for that information. And then when I click on yes, it's gonna take me to exactly where I need to be. And inside this servers category here on the left, I'm gonna go and set up a new staging server just by clicking on this little add server button here in the bottom left. Okay, so it wants a name here, I'll call this Jeff's staging server. And I can connect to my server using various methods here. Because I'm running a local installation of WordPress, I'm going to go local network. And then all I need to do is browse for that, that installation of WordPress on my hard drive. So give me a second here. I'm going to go into applications here, if it'll let me get in here. There we go. And then down into MAMP, which is what I'm running here on my Mac. It actually took me to this directory 
by default, but I wanted to show you where this is, into a folder called htdocs, and then there's WordPress right in there. So if I double click on that, this is the top level of my WordPress blog. And then for this to work, I have to put in the web URL. Well, what's the web URL? Well, back in Firefox, this is my web URL. Again, on the Mac at least, running a local installation of WordPress anyway. So I'm going to select all that and copy it, hide Firefox again, and then just paste all that in here, save it up. And oh, I want to double check as well. I almost missed this. There's So there's the new server, right? And I can specify this guy as a staging server or as a live server or both. And what's really cool here, and this is new in CS5, is I can add on as many servers as I want if I want to add on another live server or whatever, right? But for this to work, I have to make sure that this guy's set as my staging server. And I'll click on Save. And I get this Update Copy dialog box. I'll say Yes. Put Dependent Files. No. Wait for a moment here. All right, now check this out. See if I can collapse this down here and give myself a little bit more screen real estate here. This is my blog, which I just saw in Firefox. I just showed you it in Firefox. Here it is in its entirety inside Dreamweaver. Let me flip, on, flip over to full-on design view. There it is, the full thing. All the posts, the footer, the header, sidebar, everything is in there, which is awesome. Now, uh, the next thing that I want to show you here is I want to try and get some of the dynamically related content showing up as well, all the PHP files and any external CSS files and all the rest of it. Now, this may be just my installation of Dreamweaver, but it seems that I have to close out of this file and then go and reopen them. I'm pretty sure that it's my version of Dreamweaver because it's uh, a pretty early version of CS5 here. Now, what I want to show you, like I could go back to live view here. And I could just say yes, and then I could say no again, and away we are. Back to where we just were a second ago. But this message across the top now reads, this, pay may, th sorry, this page may have dynamically related files that can only be discovered by the server Discover. Now, this is really what I wanted to show you. I'm going to say Discover, and I'll click on yes. And then if I just kick back for a second and wait, Dreamweaver goes out and finds all of the dynamic files that are needed for this file to actually run properly. There's tons of PHP files. There's my external style sheet file. As a matter of fact, if I drop down this menu here on the right-hand side, there's even more files, which is awesome. So if you know about WordPress, if you've messed around with WordPress for a while, you know about header.php, sidebar.php, footer.php, as well as all the others, right? They're all in there, which is awesome stuff. So working with content management systems, these platforms, again, like WordPress and Drupal and Joomla, is really, really awesome here in Dreamweaver CS5. <laughs>